Creating a list within TickTick is a pretty straightforward activity. Over on the left navigation pane, there's a lists section. And if you hover your mouse over it, a little plus will show up on the right side. Click the plus. Now you can add a new list. You can give the list a name. I'm going to call this one Blue Project. You can also choose an emoji for the list by clicking on the three lines next to the name. An emoji is not necessary, but it does help keep Tick Tick a little more fun. Below that, you can choose a color for the list. Folder is the next option. We'll discuss folders a little bit later. And below that is the type. By default, a new list is a task list. And the final option is a little checkbox that says hidden. And below it, it says if enabled, so if the checkbox is checked, tasks within this list won't show up in the all, today, tomorrow, next seven days, or other smart lists, but you will still receive reminders. So that's basically if you don't want the tasks within this list to show up in the smart list, then you could check the hidden box. I'm going to leave this unchecked and I'm going to click the save button to create my new blue project list. Now you'll see my new blue project list shows up in the list section. If I add a new item to my list, you can see that the new item is a task and that's because this is a task list. Now, if we want to create a notes list where the items that we add are notes, let's just click the plus button again to create a new list. We'll give this list a name. Select a color. We're going to skip folder. And this time for type, instead of choosing task list, we'll choose note list. And click the save button. You'll see our new list, blue project notes, show up in the list section. If we add a new item to this list, this is a notes item rather than a task because we created a notes list. Now let's say we have a couple more lists. So now you can see I have a couple of different projects going on and they each have multiple lists. And it might be useful or simplify things if I group those lists together into folders. Now there's a couple ways to do that. And I'm gonna start with our blue project. I'm gonna take one of the blue project lists, click on it and drag it on top of the other one. A window pops up prompting me to enter a new folder name. So we're essentially creating a folder for blue project now. And again, you can pick an emoji if you want to. And then click the save button. So now within the list section, you can see we have a blue project folder and under the blue project folder, we have a blue project notes and a blue project. And let me just edit this list to say blue project tasks. Another way to create a folder is to go over to a list, click the three dots next to it and click the edit option. I'm going to change this to tasks while I'm in here. And then within the folder drop down, select new folder. Click the save button. So now you can see I have a new green project folder and under it is green project tasks, but I need to move green project notes under that folder as well. So let me just click on it and drag it up to the folder. Now let's just create a folder for our yellow project. Now our lists are pretty well organized within each project folder. So green project folder contains green project notes and tasks. Yellow project folder contains yellow project notes and tasks. And our blue project folder contains our blue project notes and tasks. So that is how you create a new list within TickTick and also how you create a new folder to hold a group of lists to help organize TickTick.